Hi, I'm Oscar Oliver, and I just turned 14 years old. I'm from Barrie, Ontario, and I'm Polish-Canadian. I attend Innisdale Secondary School, and I do all my courses online. 20 years ago, my mom and dad set up a charity to help sick kids in Poland called Fantasia. Since then, they've granted over 9,500 wishes to sick kids. They got the Canadian Governor Jenner's medallion for their work. I started working with sick kids several years ago. I first began by helping to arrange photo sessions with them. Here's me with the kids before COVID and before all the children went into lockdown. Here's another photo showing the great day we all had dressing up and putting on makeup. War in Ukraine started 18 months ago. I was hearing lots of confusing things from everyone at school. So I asked my parents and they explained it to me and told me how Poland was the first to help. Poland was taking in all the refugees and people were giving them places to stay and food. It was the moms and children who were fleeing to Poland, the men stayed to fight for Ukraine. I said to my mom and dad that I wanted to help. The kids had nothing so I wanted to bring a smile to their faces and show someone cared. So I came up with my Buy a Backpack campaign for the Ukrainian war refugee children. A backpack is special to these kids. It holds all of our stuff and is important to us. I decided to fill them with school supplies, toys, games, candy, personal items, and Lego. I asked for donations of $50, which would buy one filled backpack, and my goal was 200 backpacks. The media heard about me, and I was always being interviewed on television, radio, and online. Sometimes I had to do live TV on national use, which was a bit stressful. This helped me reach 440 backpacks. Here I am in Poland in April last year with the backpacks filled with supplies to take to the kids. Here I am at the foundation's office with mountains of stuff, packing the backpacks. It took me two days. Here I am loading the van and taking the backpacks to the Children's Refugee Center. I met with the families and gave them backpacks. It was very emotional and the moms were so grateful and crying with happiness. Many of the children were sick and so we didn't take many photos as it wasn't appropriate. When I go back to Canada, I realized I couldn't stop what I do as there is no better way to live than help others in need. With help from the media, I helped fundraise another 350 backpacks and went back to Poland last August. I spent two days filling the backpacks and met the children at a special event at Warsaw Zoo. I had 350 backpacks with school supplies, toys, games, candy, and personal items, and Lego, and other gifts too. Here's a few more slides to show what a great day it was. just some of the refugee children. Then I was invited to the Canadian Embassy in Warsaw to meet the embassy team and share my campaign. It was a proud moment. I felt very special and honored. Then Indigo heard about my campaign and they donated $75,000 of product to my cause. So I sent over one ton of backpacks and supplies from Indigo to Poland and fundraised as many more backpacks as I could in time for Christmas. I went to Poland in December to meet the shipment from Canada. I packed everything to be sent out for delivery to the children living in various centers and got all the backpacks ready for a special kids party. On December 18th, over 350 children came to the Courtyard Marriott Hotel in Warsaw for a special children's Christmas gala, where they all received all my backpacks filled with gifts. Here's a few slides to show what a great party it was.
By the end of 2022, I had achieved 1,862 backpacks in total. Then I decided that wherever in the world there's a catastrophe that affects children, I want my Buy Backpack campaign to be there. So I fundraised for more backpacks and went back to Poland in March, this time to fill them with personal hygiene supplies, essential clothing, and educational items, toys, games, and candy. These were for Ukrainian war-affected children living in orphanages in Ukraine and Poland, and for children who were displaced victims of the earthquake in Turkey. I packed everything in time for Easter. Then I loaded the trucks, which would take them to the children. I am now speaking to you from Warsaw in Poland. Last week, I was a guest of honor at a beautiful gala summer event for 400 Ukrainian refugee children and Polish sick kids. I provided each child at the event with a new backpack filled with presents and necessary supplies. This took me to my total number of backpacks that I've achieved since I began my campaign to 2,751. My next goal is to reach 3,000 backpacks by the end of this year. Every $50 that I raise buys one new backpack filled with all the supplies which Children's Foundation in Poland, Fandacja Decencia Fantasia, purchases on my behalf. Thank you for listening to my story and for supporting my cause. You can follow my campaign on my website, oscaroliver.org.